Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Zell here and we are back again with a new reaction for you. I'm a little bit late to the party, I'll admit it. I'm a little bit late, but you guys asked for it, so here it is. Um, I have been meaning to actually react to it, I just haven't had... Uh, just haven't been able to sit down and actually get it done, but here we are. This is going to be a reaction to the Elden Ring gameplay preview, which I think was premiered on November the 4th, 2021. In fact, it was premiered on November 4th, 2021. And the developer behind this game is from Software, as I'm sure you all know. Now, they are obviously known for their Souls-esque games like Bloodborne, uh, Sekiro Dies Twice, Dark Souls obviously being the most popular. Um, for me, personally, I've never actually played a Souls game. Um, I've never actually played Bloodborne, Dark Souls, or Sekiro. Now, I actually bought Sekiro. Uh, I do have it on Steam. I just have never actually jumped in and played it for some reason. Um, I don't think I ever had time to do it, or I think I tried. <laughs> I did about five, ten minutes, and I was like, this is way too hard, and then I ended it. <laughs> but that was me. That was that was uh, about a year or a couple of years ago. I'm not too sure when Sekiro came out. Um, I, would, I would be open to giving it a go again. So, really, Elden Ring is new to me. Obviously, Elden Ring we first saw at E3 in 2019. Really nice teaser. Um, obviously, reacted to the teaser. You can check that out there. Um, not that I was very educated on the game. I'm still not, particularly. But I hear that the gameplay was blown everyone's minds so i need to i need to check this out i need to see exactly what's going on so apparently it looks beautiful it releases in february of 2022 um which is fine is absolutely fine um yeah let's let's just get straight into it shall we let's just have a look peggy 16 hello everyone thank you for taking the time Ooh. to join us today i've got oh, in this video <laughs> we'll show some footage of our new action rpg elden ring we hope it helps to convey a little of this title's mood and gameplay. Yes. It's from PC build. That's, so that's good. That's kind of what we would be expecting to see on, say, my rig. Uh, if we... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Elden Ring is set here, in the lands between. Wow, look at that. Kind of reminds this... me... Uh, sorry, sorry for pausing so quickly. I don't know if any of you have played um, World of Warcraft, but... Uh, do you know, like Northrend, like the what's it called? Um, Crystal Forest, is it? It's below Dalaran? I even chat shit. I think I'm chatting shit. You know what? I, I sh maybe I shouldn't be comparing Elden Ring to <laughs> World of Warcraft. Elden Ring is set here, in the wow. lands between. The this is a site of grace, acting as a place of rest for the player. Occasionally. Grace will manifest rays of guiding light. Ooh. Of course, we're free to choose whether to follow this guidance, or head off to explore in a different direction. I don't think any of the other Souls games had mounts. Correct me if I'm wrong. Whoa! This feels next level. This looks next level. Check it. The music as well. I was not ready for this. I didn't know what I was expecting, but it was not this. It looks beautiful. Kidding me? Hello? Can you hear me? Help me. I'm stuck. Hello? Please, anyone. 
Oh, my stars. I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander. Oh, it's the pot. Known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? <laughs> Put those doubts to rest. I'll be just fine. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. This looks similar to... Well played, good sir. Well played. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelt the end of me. <laughs> like the quality and detail of Wukong. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at the detail on the characters. What? The map can prove useful when exploring the world, and is populated by acquiring map fragments. We can use markers to customize the map, such as setting reminders for the location of crafting materials or dangerous enemies. Ooh. Custom markers, Beacons that's nice. can also be placed to help with orientation. Beacons placed on Fuck. the map appear in the world. Look at this. Look at this. You guys have already seen this because I'm a couple of days late, but look at this. <laughs> this just feels... Oh, my. Spirit springs can be used while on horseback to launch high into the air. This allows for stress-free traversal of areas with a great deal of verticality. Oh. The carriage over there is carrying treasure, an opportunity too good to pass up. We'll prepare for combat with some item crafting, using materials found in the world. a bit overkill. Seemed a little bit, a little bit much. Oh. Look at the size of that sword. Enemy stance can be broken with heavy strikes, such as when attacking from above. Wow. A variety of unique attacks can also be interchanged between weapons. <laughs> in more perilous situations, we can summon spirits to assist us in battle. Wow. Spirits vary greatly in type, so we look forward to players experimenting and finding their personal favorites. Okay. I'm sure some kind of help on this game is much appreciated on any Souls game. Girl, wow. I, I, look at it. Look at all the colors. Online multiplayer can also be enjoyed with players from other worlds. 
from cooperative to PvP and invasions. Look at the shine on the armor and just the detail of it, the engravings. I am very impressed. In fact, it's all open world as well. That's so cool. Deadly creatures stalk this forest, so we'll use stealth to avoid detection. We've come across a boss guarding this area. We'll take it on with the help of our co-op partner. Bloody hell, isn't it a boss? Jesus. Whoa, 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 what was that? Let me rewind that. Was that the head of the dragon? That, like, it is, look! Oh, wow! You can use the power or bits and pieces of bosses you fight, I guess? I don't know if that's something that's normal in Souls games. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I'm still impressed by it, though. Walking into a crypt, yes, I think, maybe. Catacombs, caves, mines, and other dungeons can be found while out exploring the world. Man, this looks so cool. These dungeons each hold their own secrets, from hidden treasures to fearsome bosses. Traps and puzzles, I imagine. I am blown away. And I've already said it, but guys, I, I cannot believe what I'm looking at. The Wolverine claws, look at that. What'd he get? What'd he get? What'd he get? Do I not get to see what he got? Greetings, Ooh. traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Jeez, okay. Oh! We've reached Stormvale Castle, a large scale dungeon which connects seamlessly with the surrounding Limgrave region. Look, the amount of detail in this is absolutely ridiculous. We've reached Stormvale Castle, a large scale dungeon which connects seamlessly with the surrounding Limgrave region. 
Why have I not? It feels different. There's something about this level of what's going on here. It just feels. I don't know. Like, is this. What's it running? Is it Unreal Engine 5? Is it their own engine? Is it something I haven't seen before? I'm confused. But I'm happy confused because this looks. Re this looks insane. Absolutely insane. Beautiful. Like, really, really beautiful. against taking the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Oh, t -t try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You'll breach the castle undetected. <laughs> Fair enough. You certainly don't have to trust me. Well, if you must go through the gates, I'll signal them to open. But of course, I'd advise against it. You're about to see a big battle. The gates! Open the gates! Fuck! Jesus, it's scared the living daylights out of me. The main route seems risky, so we'll try entering through a back way. Should have done that in the first place. He told you. He advised you. Combat just looks like it feels so good. Extra care should be taken when moving through dungeons, as visibility and terrain differ from when in the open. We hope players enjoy getting a feel for the different types of areas and coming up with suitable strategies for each. Oh. I can see what all the hype was about. I can definitely see what all the hype Dungeons was about. Dungeons are complex and multi-layered, meaning they can be tackled from a number of routes. That's cool. Ah, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. A sorcerer, as uh, you might have guessed. I'm looking for a little something here in the castle. When I'm not hot-footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind. Love the hat. It does look fun. It does look fun. As I said, I've never played them. I've never played any kind of Souls game. Not properly. I guess I could try playing Sekiro, but I don't know. In this next boss fight, we challenge one of the demigods, ruler of Stormvale, Godric the Golden. Demigod. 
What's this going to look like? I know from software is known for their crazy looking bosses. That much I do know. Mighty dragon. Thou art a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. Well. Size of a dragon as well. Oh, that's cool. You can summon them during boss fights as well. That's a huge help. Took its head. Look, the head's missing from the dead one. It's alive. Thank you for watching. No, thank you. This was just My a brief introduction God. to Elden Ring's fundamentals, but more details will be revealed at a later date. There's not long to go now before release. In the meantime, we greatly appreciate your continued support. The Tarnished will soon return. Someone must extinguish thy flame. is a champion to be born. Elden Ring, 25th of February. I don't usually endorse pre-orders, but I mean, I am tempted. Holy shit, that was an entirely new experience. To me, anyway, like completely fresh. I can't imagine what you Souls fans are actually feeling, because this is next level. It looks incredible. Kind of makes me want to play Sekiro, just to, just to get like a tiniest grasp of it. Because I need to play this. I need to play this. This looks beautiful absolutely beautiful i mean how, how long does it roughly take to beat the souls game I, I don't know as i say i've never done it um but i do like boss fights i do like boss fights i don't i don't know let me know what if you want me to play secure i will do but ah <laughs> either way this this trailer i am so glad i watched it I am so glad I watched it. I thought it was just going to be something that I watched and go, eh, okay, yeah, I don't really understand the genre, but it looks okay. I'm in love. I am in love. Wow. I, gosh. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to do more research on Elden Ring and really get to the bottom of what this game is about, but this looks beautiful. Absolutely insane. The crazy bosses as well. Everything just looks so good. My only worry is whether I would be able to micromanage like all the numbers and everything. And I know that Monster Hunter has that side of it. The Souls games, obviously, this um, has the sort of different numbers and, you know, crits and the way you flesh out 
what you use but maybe that's not all bad maybe i could get into it who knows but thank you very much for watching if you have liked what you've seen here i would appreciate you subscribing to the channel with your little reactions here a little gameplay a little bits and pieces um let me know what you want to see next and i will see you in the next one take care and bye bye